you're dealing directly with uh, teachers who are either in or going into a, a pretty mainstream system, right? I mean, it's the Very, New public schools, right? New York City public schools. <laughs> so, so what are the challenges they're facing right now? What are, what's kind of the the top of the the list in terms of what they're what they're facing, as making that difficult to do to make it more home like to build on those kind of basics? Yeah, I think I mean there's so many challenges both personally, professionally, and with their students, right? Mm -hmm. So personally, these are teachers who are going into schools every day, and they might be newer teachers, mm -hmm. and they have to balance teaching and grad school and family mm -hmm. and life. And I think that sometimes that gets really hard, right? It's not mm -hmm. a perfect world. And in schools, professionally, I mean, you know, post pandemic schooling has been difficult, right? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have a lot of specific classroom situations. You have my kids are, you know, my kids, my graduate students, <laughs> each seventh to 12th graders. And so you have yeah. all of the things that happen in the preteen and teen years, but also you have post pandemic concern for mental health, concern for mm -hmm. self care, concern for their physical health, as well as their academic and emotional health, right? So that's a huge responsibility. And you're dealing with crowded schools and you're dealing mm -hmm. with maybe lower attendance than you've ever had to deal with. Right, and right. you might be dealing with maybe attention spans that are going every which way mm -hmm. because there's so much to think about and absorb. And I think my teachers have the hardest job in the world. Yeah. And I also, as we know, just as a, a nation, right, it's, it's one of the most underappreciated jobs, right? I mean, these are individuals who are taking care of kids and teens mm -hmm. and preteens every day. And I have to say, my students really try to provide them with the best possible environment. Right, right. But they also have administration and, and the administration hopefully is very supportive, but also very busy. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they also hopefully have supportive parents and supportive environments, but that's not always the case. And of course, right. economics and money is always an issue in New York public schools. So yeah. they're dealing with a lot and, and they do the best they can every day and they're doing really well. Right on. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.